In this video, I'll demonstrate the latest version of the GameRig Tools add-on. We have improved the interface, created new workflows, and added new features. This version of the add-on officially supports Blender 3.5 and 3.6 LTS, and possibly later versions of Blender. To keep the development manageable, we do not offer backward compatibility. For all the Blender versions, you have to use all the versions of the add-on, which are still available for download. If you need to install the add-on, you can install it as any other add-on. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click Install and find the zip file that you downloaded. If you already have the add-on and need to update, then you have to find the add-on, GameRig Tools, disable the check mark and then remove the add-on then restart blender and then install the add-on as usual once you do you'll have it here on the game rig tools if you're familiar with game rig tools you will notice that now we have a control rig and game rig fields above the generate game rig button until this version this button generated a game rig based on the rig that is selected and active in the viewport but from this version, we introduced a new workflow. Now the generation is based on these fields here instead of the selection in the viewport. So first I have to set up my control rig and then the generate game rig button will become active. I'll press it and that will give me the generation menu. Something that is new is the option to regenerate a rig. If you enable it, you'll be able to select the rig that you want to regenerate. We don't yet have a game rig, so first I'm going to disable it, generate a game rig, and then later I'm going to demonstrate the regenerate feature. Something else that you'll notice is that the menu has been reorganized. Because of the new features that we added, the menu was starting to get cluttered and unclear, so we divided all features into submenus that are easy to work with. We have the hierarchy settings, here we have the keep existing option, which was the default before. We also have the flat hierarchy option, which was also available in older versions of the add-on. What is new is this rigify hierarchy fix option. This will automatically fix the hierarchy of rigify rigs. Keep in mind that obviously this only works with rigify rigs. For now, I'm going to keep the keep existing option enabled. Next, we have constraint settings, and these are mostly the same as before. We have the default of copy location and copy rotation, copy transforms, or no constraints at all. What is new is this copy root scale option, which is only available when I select copy location and copy rotation. If I choose copy transforms, it will disappear. And first I'm going to keep it disabled, and then I'm going to show you what it does. Extract settings have not been changed. You're going to be extracting the deform bones by default, but you have other options as well which I have covered in previous videos. Binding settings are the same as before. A small change is that we rename the second option to parent mesh object to game rig. The function itself hasn't changed. It's just that the previous naming didn't make sense. Then we have the advanced options, which haven't been changed. I have covered these in previous videos, but generally the defaults work great. I'm going to press OK with these settings. And a game rig was generated for me, and the extracted rig was automatically entered as the game rig. When we have entries for both fields, this button changes its name to regenerate game rig. Let's take a look at our game rig. I'm going to go to pause mode and mute the constraints so that I can test the hierarchy. And because I extracted with the keep existing hierarchy option, you'll see that some bones are disconnected. This was the default behavior before, and so we had to go to edit mode and parent bones manually. But now we have a special option to fix the hierarchy automatically for rigify rigs. So go to object mode, press the regenerate button, and from the hierarchy setting, choose rigify hierarchy fix. Also, I have the regenerate rig option enabled. If I disable it, I'll be able to generate a new deform rig, but that is not what I want. I want to simply change my existing deform rig. This was something that was annoying to do with previous versions of the add-on. You had to delete your existing game rig and then generate a new one. But now you can simply regenerate. So I'm going to press OK, go to pause mode, mute my constraints and test my hierarchy. And you'll see that the hierarchy has been fixed for this rigify rig. 
Again, this only works for Rigify, but we have a separate option for fixing non-Rigify armatures, and I'm going to talk about it in a minute. So this is how you can fix Rigify hierarchies and how you can regenerate a rig. Now let's go to object mode, unmute the constraints for the game rig, go to the control rig, pose mode, and now the game rig is being controlled by the control rig, which is what you need to create animations and so on. Now here is a corner case problem that we didn't notice until recently, and that is if I select the root and scale it up, the mesh will start getting thinner and thinner. That is because of the copy location and copy rotation setup that we are using. Because of it, when we scale the root up, we get this distance between the deforming bones, and that creates this thinning effect in the mesh. So I'll press Alt-S, go to object mode, click the regenerate button, and under constraints settings, I'm going to enable the copy root scale option. And this option is meant to fix exactly this problem with the thinning mesh. We have an auto find root option, but generally I would advise you to set your root manually. Here the add-on detected the root bone correctly, but if it wasn't correct, I can press here and start looking for a bone that I want to set as a root. And then I'm going to press OK. So that will regenerate the rig again with the edited constraint settings. Now if I go to the control rig, pose mode, it should work as always. But I can also scale up the root and the character mesh will also just scale up as you should expect. Okay, with this we covered regeneration and the new settings in the generate game rig menu. Regarding the action bakery, there is nothing new except that we used to have these control rig and game rig fields here in the action bakery. Now that we have these fields for generation, the bakery is simply reusing them. You'll see that if I disable the rigs, I'll get a message in the bakery telling me to select the game rig and select the control rig. So when I do, there will be no more complaints from the bakery and I'll be able to add my animations. I don't have any right now, but if I did, I'll be able to add them, bake them and so on. The bake action bakery button was made prettier, I think, but functionally it is the same. In case I haven't covered this, this optional button here, when enabled, will give me this bake menu and I can set up my bake settings before baking. If I disable it, it will simply use the global bake settings and it will bake without showing me the bakery pop-up. I'm going to enable it back. And one last new feature, it is under utility tools and it's called proximity parent. So I mentioned that we have a special new feature for automatically fixing the hierarchy of any rig, not just Rigify. So here's how it works. I'll go to my game rig, edit mode, select all bones and press Alt P and clear parent. So that will create a flat hierarchy. No bone is parented to any bone. I'm just doing this to demonstrate the feature. Your rig can have any hierarchy and this new feature will attempt to fix it or change it. So I'm going to select all of my bones now, press the proximity parent button, increase max distance to one or so, keep these settings and press OK. Now if I go to pose mode and mute my constraints, you'll see that the hierarchy seems to have been adjusted. The bones are connected to each other, even though I cleared all parenting a second ago. And you'll see that for the most part, it works fine. It is exactly what you would expect. However, keep in mind that this feature is not guaranteed to give you perfect results, so you do have to check your rig. For example, here, notice that this spine bone, which should be the top bone in the hierarchy, only controls one of the legs. The other leg is actually controlled by this bone, and this bone actually became the root of the whole armature. So I can go to edit mode, and maybe parent all of these bones to the spine bone. And with this simple fix, the whole rig hierarchy should be fixed exactly as I want it. I'm very proud of what Blender Boy achieved with this feature, but do keep in mind that perfect results are not guaranteed. These are all of the new features of Game Rig Tools. 
I hope you enjoy them. If you find any bugs, please let us know. You can download the add-on from Gumroad or Blender Market. On Gumroad, we even offer pay what you want pricing, so you can even get the add-on for free, but a contribution of around $15 is highly appreciated. Thank you.